friends, in the story of the Three Musketeers, <laughs> yes, I play the part of D'Artagnan. Originally, the Musketeers were a threesome. Uh, there was uh, Athos, uh, Porthos, and Aramis. And when D'Artagnan joined them, they became a foursome, which is just about par for the course. <laughs> yes, it was rough. Anyway, their motto was not dog eat dog or may the best man win. It was all for one and one for all. So on guard, parry, thrust, thrust, parry. Touchay! Oh! <laughs> Steady, Magoo. Well, as I was saying, they had some electrifying experiences. But with their trusty swords, they overcame all odds. Now, there was a good group by George. I mean, by Porthos, by Athos, and Magoo. Oh, by Porthos, by Athos, by Amos, and by, by, uh, bye bye. <laughs> It is April 1625. King Louis XIII reigns in France, and always at his elbow is the real power behind the throne, the scheming Cardinal Richelieu. Intrigue and double dealing reign supreme in these troubled times. <laughs> oh, oh, what a glorious day! <laughs> and what a good horse you are, Mignonette. <laughs> you sturdy old girl. Oh, come, come. Mignonette, do not falter. You carried out Tanya, and fortune awaits. <laughs> you see here? Eh, Fifteen crowns from my good father. <laughs> and a letter of introduction to my father's friend, Monsieur de Treville. <laughs> He's captain of the Royal Musketeers, you know, Mignonette. You don't listen, yeah. And finally, finally, I have you, Mignonette, you noble steed. I wonder if there's ever a more fortunate young man. Oh, oh, no, no, none of that. Up, girl, up. Oh, oh, whoop. Up, I say, up, up. But, monsieur, you owe me for three days lodging, food, drink. So I do, and you shall have it, if you can catch it. <laughs> oh, there's strange manners here. Yeah, there's much I must learn. Uh, pardon me, sir. Well, what have we here? I am on my way to Paris to see Monsieur de Treville. Have I far to go? You are to see Monsieur de Treville? <laughs> Why, pray? To black his boots? To groom his horse? Or perhaps you deliver a fresh cheese from the farm? Hold your tongue, sir! That's it, of course. <laughs> it is cheese I smell. Where is it, boy? Let's see it. Ah, enough, sir. I will have satisfaction <laughs> for these insults. <laughs> you will, will you? No one speaks like that to D'Artagnan and gets uh, away with. I leave now. Time is short. You have Cardinal Richelieu's instruction? Mm, right here. Return to England, then. Au revoir. Au revoir, milady. <laughs> milady, what a pretty name, milady. <laughs> So, the country bumpkin wants satisfaction, eh? I have never seen such beauty. Then he shall have it. <laughs> Happy dreams of the barnyard, bumpkin. Ha, <laughs> 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 you do well to ride fast, my lord. I know not your name, but I will find you and settle our score. I vow it! So, young D'Artagnan, son of my old friend, already you have an enemy. I have sworn to revenge myself, monsieur. A word of caution. The man you describe sounds like Lord Winter. He is in league with the Cardinal, and that means danger. Yes, well, I, I, I must be a simple country fellow, for I do not understand. Trust no one. Enter. We wish you good day, noble captain. How kind of you to send for us. You're looking well, monsieur. Jackanapes, blackguards. Speak not of my health, but rather of your scandalous behavior. Oh, you wound us, captain. What have we done? 
Your tavern brawling brings insult enough to the musketeers, but a thousand times worse to be challenged by the cardinal's guards and then to run like milkmaids, like schoolgirls. Like the devil, monsieur. Uh, pardon, Captain, but we did not run. Run? We stayed and fought twice our number. And acquitted ourselves honorably. Oh? I heard a very different story from the king. Go, then. Go. So, once again, the cardinal has lied to the king. <laughs> you must be mistaken, monsieur. He, he is the king's advisor. Listen, my innocent, and learn. To win a game of whist, one does not reveal his cards to his opponents. <laughs> then the king and the cardinal are not in complete accord? There are times when a play for absolute power had best be viewed publicly as uh, friendly bickering. <laughs> yeah, oh yes, yes, I see. I think. Oh, forgive me, sir. No, but I am rather more used to milk. <laughs> a babe in arms, and he would be a musketeer. <laughs> it is my life's desire. Well, lad, only the king can grant you a commission. <laughs> then I and I have come in vain. Fear not. I will enroll you in the Royal Military Academy, and in time. Hey, it, oh, it is he! And the stranger from the inn! My revenge is here! Hey, pardon, monsieur, and, and thank you! Be careful, D'Artagnan! <laughs> on there, clumsy fool. <laughs> Out of my way, sir, please. I heard no word of apology. I offered none, oh, for I'm in a desperate hurry. Indeed. Perhaps you'll have time to be taught some manners later, then. Oh, very well. Where? Near the Carmelite convent at noon. Your choice of weapon. <laughs> yes, well, I, I shall be there. <laughs> Get out of there, you blast it! Oh, I do apologize. Now, uh, please, uh, let me free. Apologize? You offend my dignity, tear my cape. I will have none of your apologies. <laughs> then we will settle the matter uh, later. Indeed we will, at one o'clock, behind the Luxembourg Palace. Uh, 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 at uh, one o'clock. <laughs> Which way did he go? Oh, oh, I fear, I fear I've lost him. But I have never met the Lady Felice. Five gold sovereigns say I tell the truth. Uh, pardon me, sir, but you dropped something. Uh, and uh, now, uh, uh, let us be off, shall we? It was getting all dirty there under your foot, monsieur. Aha! Never heard of Lady Felice, eh? It is her perfume and her initial. I think, my friend, that you owe me five sovereigns. <laughs> On my honor, you are the most awkward, ignorant clod ever to leave the barnyard. Yes, it seems that all, all Paris is in agreement with you. Uh, nevertheless, I resent hearing it, and you will withdraw your remarks. Never, monsieur, for I spoke the truth. I can't persuade you to change your mind? Certainly not. Uh, then we shall have to meet this afternoon at uh, uh, 12, 1, and... Oh, no, no, no. Say, um, let's see, uh, 2 o'clock. Behind the palace gate. I'm going to need a map of Paris to get to all my dueling appointments. <laughs> so then, and gone is my chance for revenge, and my fortune waits unclaimed. <laughs> ah, well, it could be worse. If I will never live to be a musketeer, at least I will die at the hands of a musketeer. And, ha, yeah, small consolation, come to think of it. Good day to you, sir. Good day. I have engaged two of my friends as seconds, monsieur, but they have not yet arrived. And then, since I have no seconds, uh, let us begin and have it over with. <laughs> On guard! On guard! <coughs> For a country lad, you do well. Yes, yes, but then... <laughs> yeah, I have youth on my side. <coughs> Touché. Hey, you are uh, hurt, monsieur? A slight wound inflicted yesterday by the Cardinal's guards. <laughs> now, if you would allow me, I will send you a salve, which might prove helpful. Oh, well, you are most kind. <laughs> yeah, it is my pleasure. <laughs> what 
Oh, are you warming him up for me, Athos? What? You have issue with the lad too, Porthos? I duel him at one. Who? Oh, behind the Luxembourg Palace. Who? Yeah. Oh. Hey, perhaps you could direct me there? Poor fellow. What is your quarrel? Why, he... he... Uh, on my word, I can't remember exactly. What is yours? Well, he... Uh, that is uh, strange. I'm not sure now either. <laughs> yes, and by your leave, sir, might we postpone this for another time? <laughs> for you do look weary, and I am heavily engaged for the afternoon. <laughs> you are too soon, sir. It is not two o'clock. Aramis also? <laughs> By all I know, lad, you are strong of heart. Also loud of mouth and clumsy of manner. Oh, my mother speaks so well of me at home. Why does no one like me here? I wonder. Hey, <laughs> well, who is first? It is the Cardinal's guards. So, you break the laws against dueling, eh? And if we do... We must arrest you, of course. Of course. There are six of them. And only three of us. What think you? <laughs> Allow me to correct you, gentlemen. There are four of us. You are not a musketeer. <laughs> no, but I would be. Grant me the chance to show what I can do. He is a brilliant swordsman. You have your chance. Charge! <laughs> Out there, you portals! <laughs> this pumpkin fights like a mix-up! Good show, D'Artagnan! A thousand pardons, monsieur, but this is your finish. No, just disarm him. I have an old score to settle another day. As you wish, Athos. Off with you, vainglorious peacock. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my friend. Musketeer or not, I say he belongs with us. Henceforth, it shall be the three of us and D'Artagnan. All, all for one, one for all. Everything goes badly. No one comes to play with me unless he wants a favor. The life of a monarch is not easy, sire. Oh, about the uh, commission for D'Artagnan. Uh, you say the young man helped rout the cardinal's guards? And made jest of the captain to boot. <laughs> Get Zooks, I wish I'd been there. <laughs> oh, look, Treville. At what, sire? A bird flew by. A spy for the cardinal, no doubt. That nasty man will give me no rest. He plagues me with tales that my queen plots against me. I've heard the rumors about her and Lord Buckingham. There, you see, Richelieu would have the whole country believe that an old and dear friendship is a sinister plot. He wants to start a war, I think, and he would sacrifice my Austrian queen to do it. Well, I won't have it. I wish Richelieu would call off his spies. It is because His Majesty needs all the loyal supporters he can get that I request the commission for D'Artagnan. I will think about it. Well, then, have I won the game, Treville? You always do, Majesty. My Lady Clark has reached England, sir. Good, good. And now, Captain, you have another order. I'm at your command, Cardinal Richelieu. The Queen's handywoman, Mademoiselle Bonacieux, is to be followed. Any messages she may carry are to be intercepted. It shall be done. Uh, oh, Captain, there is a new young man cutting quite a swath at the Royal Academy. He is called D'Artagnan. Yes, I've heard of him. I know you have, Captain. Keep him under surveillance. <laughs> So then, D'Artagnan, it is true that you may become one of us soon? Monsieur de Treville has asked His Majesty to grant me a commission, yes. And if His Majesty grants you a commission, lad, do you think yourself prepared to be a musketeer? <laughs> Why, yes, I can lift swords with any man. Oh, but what of lifting the cup? Not to speak of the heart of a fair maid. <laughs> oh, well, oh, surely there is plenty of time for that. Now my dedication must be to my king. 
Well then, young friend, will you join us in some dinner? <laughs> in a while. So much has happened this past week, I, I, I think I must take a walk to, to clear my head. Thanks to your bravery. I see you're a cadet at the Royal Academy. Hey, D'Artagnan, at your service, mademoiselle. Well then, D'Artagnan, rejoice in knowing that you have done a great service for your country tonight. Oh, mademoiselle, you are so beautiful, I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> Tell me, who are you? I am a handywoman to Her Majesty, and I carry a message of utmost urgency. Adieu, monsieur, and thank you. But, but wait, your, your name. Tell me, what is your name? I must follow her. Mademoiselle Bonacieux, here. My lord Buckingham. Brave girl, Constance. You were followed? Yes, my lord. The cardinal has aroused the people. You must leave France immediately. The queen bids you her fondest adieu and sends you these to remember her by always. Her own diamond studs. Dear Anne, it was not wise, but very kind. The Queen says your friendship must be ended for the sake of her country, but it will always live in her heart. Godspeed. Adieu. I leave for England immediately. Uh, Mademoiselle? Sir, you followed me. Oh, forgive my impudence and hear my vow that I will not reveal your secret, for your cause is mine. But I must know your name. I am Mademoiselle Bonacieux, but you may call me Constance. Oh, <laughs> Constance, a name which applauds your beauty. And in my eyes, you are as handsome as you are brave, D'Artagnan. Hear this, then, Constance. As suddenly as the sun comes out from behind a cloud, you smiled, and I knew I loved you. I shall be your servant from this day forth. I am honored, dear D'Artagnan, and very glad. Don't they? I will order a royal ball. No one ever plays with me unless he wants a favor. And you will order Queen Anne to wear her diamond studs? Yes. But if you think she doesn't have them, why not just ask her? And thus give her time to have others made? Why all this fuss over jewelry? Can't you see, sire? If the rumors from the British court are true, and Buckingham has the Queen's diamond studs, he must have them for a reason. If she did give them to him, perhaps it was because she grew tired of them. They are worth a fortune, sire. Enough to finance a fleet of ships or a private army to march from England against us in France. You are anxious to get rid of queens, aren't you, Richelieu? <laughs> I care only for the kingdom, your majesty. If your queen presents a threat to your life, well, then. Then what? Throw Anne in the dungeon? Attack England and Austria? I think you would make trouble where there is none. Your Majesty knows well I am at his complete command. You're not as smart as you think you are, Richelieu. Checkmate! You win again, sire. You win again. I always do. <laughs> Oh, Constance, my love, uh, uh, what is it? 
Oh, D'Artagnan, I'm so glad you're here. There, there. I came as soon as I got your message. What has happened? There is a royal ball in just two days. Queen Anne must wear her diamond studs. And that is of such grave concern to you? If she does not wear them, if she cannot show them, she will be tried for treason and beheaded. The Cardinal has maneuvered it thus. Oh, oh good heavens! Those studs are in England. I delivered them to Lord Buckingham myself the night he left. The night we met D'Artagnan, my poor queen is doomed. Here, here, dry your eyes. We'll just get the studs back. But it's impossible. I swore to be your servant, Constance, and now, now I will prove myself. But it's so dangerous. The Cardinal will have his spies all around and try to prevent it. Ah, the Cardinal's guards have tangled with me before and not done well. <laughs> Goodbye for now, my love. I shall be back in two days hence. To fortune. To the Cardinal and his cause. Of course, Lord Winter. To the Cardinal <laughs> and his gold. <laughs> A word of caution. Our spies tell me that some of the King's musketeers may soon be on their way here. The Cardinal's orders are to stop them from reaching Lord Buckingham. Lord Buckingham? Then they are trying to recover the diamond studs. Precisely. They will, of course, be unsuccessful. Of course. An ambush just where they least expect it, and... Um... The musketeers are the most powerful swordsmen in all France. Perhaps our men cannot outfight them, but we can outthink them. Now, can't we? Here's what we'll do. I was saying, I make up. Mm, clever, Lord Winter. Clever! If our friends, the Musketeers, come, they will long remember their visit to England. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. I won't be gone long. What you attempt is folly, D'Artagnan. You are too green a youth for such a mission. Your fair Constance will lose more than her queen. Why, brave musketeers, you squeak like a bunch of crows on a fence. I am young and strong, and right is on my side. I cannot fail. And dare. <laughs> Whom were you expecting, Lady Guinevere? Come on, then. We have a long ride to England. Athos! Two swords are not enough for this mission, lad. Let us be off. Wait! Wait for me! Aramis, you too. What then? Did you expect me to drink alone? Come, my friends. Let's see England. All for one and one for all! And so the fate of a nation seems to rest upon the trusty swords of this dauntless group of men. Little did they suspect that a reception was being arranged in their honor. A word of caution. Our spies tell me that some of the king's musketeers may soon be on their way here. The cardinal's orders are to stop them from reaching Lord Buckingham. If our friends, the musketeers, come, they will long remember their visit to England. <laughs> ah, what think you now, my cautious friends? Ah, we are safely out of France and safely into England. Don't close your eyes to danger, boy, for somewhere surely it must lurk. The Cardinal has friends in England, too. <laughs> but why, when he would make war? The love of gold, D'Artagnan, is closer to the hearts of some men than love of country. A pardon, friend, but which is the road to London? The old mill road, my lord, and a pleasant journey to ye. Ah, much obliged. <laughs> The old mill road, 
my lord, and a pleasant journey to ye. <laughs> well done, Lord Winter. They walked straight into our trap. Like unsuspecting mice. Go now, the carriage is ready. <laughs> if this road leads to London, it surely does so slowly. A man could starve to death in a place like this. And grow very thirsty. Any uh, sign of an inn? Not yet, nor any other travelers, and that is strange. Wait, wait, huh, what is that? Help, help! Quickly, huh, we must catch it. Are you all right, madam? Oh, quite all right. Thanks to your men, you saved my life. How can I ever thank you? It was an honor. May I present myself? I am Athos. My friends are Porthos, Aramis, and this brave young fellow is D'Artagnan. I am Lady Clark. Milady. Milady. Have we not met before? Oh, I think not. For surely I would have remembered such a brave and handsome fellow. Now, wouldn't I? <laughs> you must return with me to my home. It's not far from here, and uh, accept a bag of gold. Oh, thank you, my lady, but we have a mission in London and must not tarry. Gentlemen, you cannot proceed to London without a rest. Some food, a drink, perhaps. <coughs> Well, it has been some time since we've eaten. Come then and accept food and drink from me at least. D'Artagnan will drive me, won't he? <laughs> I have seen this woman before, <laughs> but where? This stew, fricassee of hair? Truly, milady, you set us a feast for a king. It is but a small token of what I owe you for my life. Oh, but I see you need more wine. D'Artagnan, you haven't touched yours. I, oh, no, I would uh, savor it slowly, milady. Mm. Our friends will sleep soundly this day. <laughs> <laughs> And every day until the ball is over, and Queen Anne is found guilty of treason. <laughs> Tanya, the lovely lady says you haven't touched your wine. Drink it all down, or pop a spank. <laughs> now, now, hold your tongues. You know I can't drink. <laughs> Could have saved it for us. There, my friends, drink and be merry, for tomorrow... <laughs> we return to France, and I to Constance. Perhaps you will be persuaded to tarry a bit longer. I propose a toast to my lady, the most beautiful and generous hostess in all England. To, to my lady. lady! Thank you, gentlemen. And now excuse me, for I must insist upon giving you the gold of which we spoke. Pleasant dreams, handsome fools. <laughs> oh, strange wine, that. I feel suddenly dizzy. I, too. Everything spins. My, my throat. We, we've been drugged. Tricked. Sleeping potion. Pretend. Come, Lord Winter. They sleep like babies. The potion did its work well. The Cardinal will be pleased. Even though the time is short, Louis' queen may try to send others for her jewels. Yes. Go now and warn our friends at the palace to be on guard for strangers. <laughs> I found I 
would find you, and so I have. <laughs> Mercy, sir, whoever you are. Oh, so now it's sir, and not Country Bumpkin. <laughs> On your feet, coward. I give you the chance you denied me. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> it was just a month ago. Your memory is short, sir. I am the country boy who asked directions from you when he was on his way to Paris. He here, remember? <laughs> <laughs> on guard! At the inn, outside Mons. A milady was there, and that is where I saw her. Well then, country boy, you've changed. <laughs> But not you, I see. Oh, still full of tricks, eh? Oh, oh my eyes! Yeah, oh, I cannot see. I. Oh. The score will be settled, country boy. Right now. Ah, a challenge, monsieur. I can beat you in a duel without a sword. How fast the country boy learns city ways. To die becomes an adventure. <laughs> you are wrong, monsieur. <laughs> yeah, to live honorable is the adventure. <laughs> oh, your bag of surprises is it's, it's bottomless. My tricks are not new. Pity France when they send a boy to do a man's work. <laughs> Uh, pity England when a man can't tell the difference. Oh, and the breathing is strong and regular. And they will sleep for hours. I must reach Lord Buckingham alone. Come, my faithful friend. We must reclaim the lady's jewels. <laughs> Orders from the captain of the guard. Let no French stranger pass unless he has papers signed by the Cardinal of France. Oh, I had not heard of such orders. When were they issued? Just now, friend. Of course. I always obey orders. There. An emissary from Cardinal Richelieu of France. Cardinal Richelieu, eh? Let me see your credentials. Ha, certainly, monsieur. Buckingham, <laughs> where may I find him? There. Why? <laughs> we have an appointment, sir. There is an entrance, you know. My dearest Anne, my heart is heavy to hear of your troubles. Duty to country has denied us our love. And that I can accept. But for one man to deny us our friendship seems unutterably cruel. I have heard nothing from you, so I wonder. And I bring word, my lord duke. <laughs> no, stay. I am a friend and have a message for you. I know you not, sir. D'Artagnan, my lord, a loyal subject of Her Majesty. And a very close friend of Mademoiselle Bonacieux. Faithful Constance, tell me quickly, is Her Majesty in danger? Oh, gravely so, and only Your Grace can save her. What then must I do? Constance gave me this to give to you. It is from Anne. My dearest friend, my life is in danger. There is to be a royal ball in just another day, and I have been requested to wear the diamond studs which I gave into your keeping. If I do not wear them, I will be tried for treason and beheaded. The Cardinal has maneuvered it thus. Yes, what is it? Impossible! 
laughable. And you say he wore the uniform of a French cadet? Well, my handsome young friend turns out to be more formidable an enemy than I thought. He may be with Buckingham even now. Here's what to do. I want you to get and go to the chapel. So then, I must part with her pledge of friendship. I had vowed to be buried with these, but so be it. Your Grace! Yes, who is it? The Captain of the Guards. May I speak with you? Uh, one moment. Take care. Richelieu's spies are everywhere. This passage will take you safely out of the palace. Go quickly, my friend, and Godspeed. Cardinal will reward you. But now let's be rid of Monsieur d'Artagnan once and for all. <laughs> Easy, girl. <laughs> they can't be far. <laughs> ah, there you are, <laughs> cowardly thieves. Unfortunately, Monsieur, you seem determined to have that which doesn't belong to you. <laughs> I am determined to uphold the honor of my queen and will <laughs> gladly die doing so. Then you shall, monsieur! Your guards fight like milkmaids. The system! I want that man destroyed! Oh, the diamonds, please. Stay back, D'Artagnan. Stay back, you lout. You stupid French bumpkin. I'll have you put on the rack. See if I don't. I hate to say this, my lady, but you are no lady. Ah! Help, D'Artagnan! Don't leave me. I can't swim. What will I do? Use your money and power, my lady. <laughs> Buy a boat. Ah! Oh. oh, Porthos, Athos, are you all right? Yes, except for a head that rings like a thousand anvils. Where is D'Artagnan? Zooks, uh, uh, what's that? I wonder, be he friend or foe? <laughs> he is foe, my friend, so leave him as he is. D'Artagnan! Are you all right, friend? <laughs> Am I all right? Hey, speak to me no more of lifting the cup, for as you see, it can prove a, a heavy burden. <laughs> While you gentlemen slept, <laughs> I got the diamond. Well, oh, well done, work, good friend! <laughs> well, so be it. D'Artagnan, lead the way. <laughs> The queen is more than tardy, your majesty. I think she hides. You think, you think. Well, I think she will appear any second. The people grow restless. The ball cannot begin until she does. Oh, you know, ladies, they do things to their hair and face. <laughs> ah, but bless their hearts, it's worth it. <laughs> Five minutes more, sire. And if she does not appear, you must send for her. Primping will be of no avail if she has not the diamond. Well, she will have them, you'll see. 
and you'll have to put someone else's head on your old guillotine. <laughs> oh, perhaps one day the people will want your head there. <laughs> lost. It's too late. Oh, D'Artagnan. Oh, my queen. There, there, my dear. I'm not afraid. There are many ways to die. I accept my fate, whatever it may be. The time is up. God, fetch the queen. I can't see. Is she? Is she wearing the diamonds? Oh, blast it, man. Out of my way. Good evening, Your Majesty. Ooh, you look lovely tonight, my dear. I am very glad to see you. You understand that, don't you? Yes, Louis. I understand. Ha! 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 My dear, we don't do enough dancing together. Would you do me the honor? Thank you, Louis. I'd like that. Good evening, Captain. At ease, gentlemen. You've done a fine job, and I'm proud of my musketeers this evening. In all truth, sir, D'Artagnan is the one to thank. So I have heard. Uh, where is the young cadet? I wish to speak to him. Well, sir, he's, um, uh, is anything wrong? Wrong? His dream has just come true. The king whispered to me that he will grant D'Artagnan a commission in the musketeers come morning. Good news! We'll convey the message. I'll tell him myself. Uh, sir, he's a trifle busy at the moment. D'Artagnan, from this day forth, wear proudly the uniform of a royal musketeer. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Your Majesty. We thank you, D'Artagnan. I propose a toast to D'Artagnan, our new brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. To D'Artagnan! Send the three musketeers!